We're headed to the racetrack Playa, which is a dry lake in a very remote part of Death Valley. And you have to drive 25 miles on this dirt road to get there. And here's the turnoff. And so it begins. It's called Death Valley for a reason. It's a brutal desert landscape that's one of the hottest places on Earth. Daytime summer temperatures routinely top 120 degrees. The national park is immense. We drove more than 100 miles on paved roads within the park before we even reached our starting point. We had a first generation Ridgeline. It was in our long-term fleet and one of the editors wanted to come out to the racetrack. So he drove it out here and it's just a long punishing washboard dirt road, but any kind of a pickup truck should be able to do it, right? So he went to the racetrack, uh, had a dinner there, came back, got on the pavement, and instantly realized that something was wrong. Turned out that the shock absorbers had overheated and all the oil had squirted out past the seals, and they were done. This ridge line comes out 10 years later, and I went to the introduction, and they talked about these new shock absorbers that it had. And I questioned the guy after the presentation, and I told him about our trip to the racetrack, and he knew all about it. They had gotten word of it, uh, had received the shocks that had been damaged, and decided that that damage shouldn't have occurred. There are changes on this truck that are based on what they learned. So it was obvious that we needed to bring this new truck out here, do the same thing, and see if uh, it does any better. This trip was centered around our 2017 Honda Ridgeline long-term test vehicle. And then there's the 2016 Toyota Tacoma TRD off-road 4x4. It's the unquestionable off-road leader in the segment. Lastly, the 2016 Nissan Titan XD was drafted to carry all of our gear, some spare tires, and camping equipment. My biggest concern out here with respect to this truck has to do with the tires. This this isn't really off-roading by the context of uh, Rubicon Trail or Moab or anything like that. This is a dirt road. If you have a four-wheel drive truck and in your ads you talk about Baja and in your ads you show things getting air, uh, well then this road is nothing. Oh man. <laughs> so what do you think? This thing's bouncing a lot. It does a lot of bouncing. The rear end gets really, really loose. Does it but kind of skip around a little yeah, bit? That's kind of fun though. <laughs> it's half the enjoyment. And this thing feels pretty planted when it comes to that. It's yeah. just kind of shaking, but uh, all four wheels seem to be on the ground most of the time. I have seen the traction control light yeah, flicker a couple of times. Once or twice. I want to just look and see if there's any like oil running down the shocks. Well, this one's missing its dust boot. Oh, wow. This one's blown up. Yeah, that thing just exploded or something. Did it happen the same uh, on the other side? Yeah, there's oil all over the place. Holy crap. That's what we call a blown out shock absorber. So far, the Tacoma, both rear shocks are blown out on it. The front ones look okay, but I mean, they're blown out. The dust boots are torn and hanging and there's oil everywhere. The left rear shock on the ridge line and the fronts, they all look dry and fine. The right rear looks like it's weeping a little bit. Uh, it's not as obviously damaged as the two on the back of the Tacoma, but I'm kind of uh, speechless, really. <laughs> uh, right now, we have a, a third vehicle that's not in sight. So we're probably gonna have to drive back in one vehicle at least and see if we can lay eyes on it. When we finally caught up with Kurt, we figured he'd tell us some story about a flat tire. Instead, he showed us a piece of tailgate trim that he'd had to go back for after it fell off. And then he told us about this oily smell. Yeah, but I mean, are they still intact? No, they're not, they're blown. This right rear one is smoking. That explains that smell. Yeah. As it smells kind of like hot peanuts. Well, we learned something here today. Huh? <laughs> A dirt road isn't just a dirt road. Three different vehicles, 
two of them with off-road packages and the one without the off-road package seems to be the less damaged of the three so far. I like to test vehicles at full pressure because coming from the manufacturing side, that's how we develop the cars. That's how I start out. And I know that our man 10 years ago didn't drop the pressure, so we wanted to do the same thing he did. Well, 11 miles in, we discovered that we were hurting equipment. We've taken about 10 to 12 PSI out of everybody's tires, and we're cutting our speed. It feels like we're now in sync with the road more and uh, more of that. So, uh, but you know, we got to try something because we still want to go to the racetrack. Here we are at the racetrack playa. We've been here about an hour wandering around and looking at all the rocks and checking out the trails. And, but for us, it's time for us to get to where we plan to camp tonight before it gets dark. And we kind of have to uh, take it slow because you know the vehicles are hurt at this point. We still got to go back out the way we came in. But so far, uh, uh, the Ridgeline's actually the most pleasant truck to be in. And it seems to be holding up better than the other two. And I wouldn't have predicted that. No way. A lot of people like the image of off-road. They don't necessarily go on anything more severe than this. So if you, you know, if you could just kind of like logically break down what you really need your truck to do, you might come to the conclusion that the ridge line is enough. So it's been a long day on a brutal road. The road really beat us up and it beat the trucks up. We didn't get any flat tires, which I really was very surprised about. I thought that's what our problem would be. We actually had more trouble with the support truck and the other truck with the off-road package. I thought that uh, they would be solid as a rock and it would just be a question of whether or not the, the ridge line came through okay, but actually it did a little better than the other two trucks. We only lost one shock right rear on that one, and uh, the other two trucks, the Tacoma and the Titan, oil everywhere, smoke, melted boots on the shocks. It was not the result we expected, but it's still a pretty good result. None of this means the Ridgeline is the better off-road vehicle. It still lacks the clearance and gearing to be a true mountain goat. But on roads like this, the Ridgeline has an edge. Thanks to independent rear suspension, its shocks have much less unsprung weight to deal with. And on ordinary roads, this translates into better ride comfort. Want to see how this all turns out? Stay tuned for part two on Edmund's video channel.